First problem is cosecant of negative 7 pi over 6. A lot of times, guys, obviously, if you looked at your unit circle, you can figure this one out. But even when you don't have a unit circle, you know that this is halfway around the circle is 6 pi over 6, right? Yes? OK. However, we're going in the negative direction. And we need to do an extra pi over 6. So this would be, if I was going to do an angle, that would be positive. But I'm going to do a negative angle, Paul. So therefore, I can say that this angle would be negative 7 pi over 6. Because we know halfway around would be 6 pi over 6 in the negative direction. So I have to go 1 more pi over 6. That means this reference angle is how much? How far is this reference angle? Pi over 6. So a lot of you guys have trouble with finding the coordinate values. I'd probably put that back away since that's the second time we've had to actually talk about that. So this value is pi over 6. So what's nice about the unit circle, or reference angles, is do we know what the value is of pi over 6? Because as long as we know what the reference angle, we can go back. As long as we know the reference angle, we can go back to the unit circle and say, what was the value? What is the point for um, in the first quadrant? And you guys should know the first quadrant. And this one, I'm pretty familiar with this point. Because I've been, as I mentioned, I've been doing so many of these problems. I don't need to look at the unit circle. So here's my point. Now here's what I want you guys to see. From this point to this point, do you guys kind of see how this is just a reflection about the y-axis? Right? So guess what? I know what this point is. This point is exactly the same as that one, except the x-coordinate is negative. OK? Now, let's go again and look at the problem. It's asking us the cosecant. Right? Remember, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So sine of your angle is equal to y. So the cosecant of your angle is 1 over y. Those are your reciprocal identities. So if we look at the y coordinate, if it's 1 half, so therefore cosecant of theta is 1 over 1 half. Multiply by the reciprocals, you get? That's it. Questions? No. So the main important thing, guys, do you guys remember doing that one uh, focus lesson we did where I said graph the angle?